Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama, and I am at the Jacob Javits Center. It is just an hour before we open up the doors for Photo Plus here in New York City. So if you're in New York, come on down. I'll be on the Canon booth actually speaking at 10 and 11 today, tomorrow 11 and 1. Lots of stuff going on, and we have Jessie with us. We are going to highlight the jewelry she's wearing, and I'm going to show you how I photograph bridal jewelry not with a macro lens. I know a macro lens tends to be one of those things we don't buy right away because you really only use it for one or two shots. So I want to show you how to photograph jewelry not using a macro lens. And we have to thank, whew, pulling out cords. We have to thank Kleinfelds for this gorgeous dress. They let us borrow this beautiful, beautiful dress. I love the lace, looking good. And then we have to thank Ristolo for all of the jewelry. This jewelry is not costume jewelry. This is completely beautiful, authentic diamonds from Verstolo. And the cool thing about them, they're the only place in New York City where you can rent high-end jewelry. And if you get your wedding band there, you actually get to rent the high-end jewelry, borrow it for free when you buy the wedding band there. So let's get started. Yes. Uh, so we have all of the jewelry here that we're going to highlight. We have a lovely window. One of the things that I like to do is focus on little parts one at a time. So I have the 50 millimeter and then I also have an 85 millimeter. I think I'm going to probably play with the 50 the most on my Canon 1DX Mark II. By the way, the Mark III was just announced today, so make sure you look at that. But we're working with the Mark II. I'm gonna use the 50 because I can get a little bit closer when I focus on her. So I'm actually gonna move a little bit this way. And where she's standing, move your shoulder a little towards me right there. The sun is coming across, so it's gonna really show a lot of the detail. Let's get an exposure. So right now I am at ISO 100. I do want to be on a kind of shallow uh, aperture just because that's my style, that's how I like it. But right about here is good. Nice. So this is what we're going for, just kind of highlighting the jewelry that she's wearing. She's really showing off all the detail. And then I'm gonna move. So we're gonna come this direction. Maybe I'll actually photograph this with an optical viewfinder. Nice, that looks really good. So really just letting the light come across to show the detail is very helpful when you're photographing jewelry. And this is all good. I would probably go throughout whatever she's wearing and photograph each little part of it. Right about there. And then go ahead, look that way for me. Get the jewelry. She's got such a great jawline. Do you get that a lot? That's a weird yeah. thing to say probably. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right. That last one was a little bit dark, but I like it. So we've got that. So just little parts of the jewelry, little parts of her. But now I want to tell a story with it. I don't want to just photograph the jewelry because this is a wedding or mock wedding and I want to make a story out of this. So I'm going to have you turn towards me a little bit. Let's move that right there. Perfect. And we have a fun little sun flare. So let's actually take a few steps this way so we can play with it. Right, right there. Nice drop that down and what you're gonna do I'm gonna highlight your earrings so very carefully when people put their earrings on they usually cover the, the jewelry and you don't want that so let them put their earrings on first and then what you'll do is you'll just turn to that side and hold the back of the earring it's very important that they hold the back in the way that she is so that you're not looking at the back of her hand or her palm you're daintily looking at the side of her hand making everything obviously not covering the jewelry but now we've incorporated the bracelet we've incorporated the necklace here and i'm going to change my exposure because i want to make it look like she's on a white background let's take that picture that looks gorgeous and keep your eyes down a little bit more that's beautiful and then go ahead and look at me for one. Kind of do a little giggle. <laughs> really cute. So now we've highlighted the jewelry, but come to this side. But we have her in it as well. So the different kind of storytelling aspect. And you could always crop in. Like that's a beautiful crop. Just showing me the tips of her eyes, the earring, her lips. And then let's do it again with the necklace. So go ahead, just kind of pretend like you're fixing the necklace, maybe. Um, tilt it and pull it out 
Yep, that looks really pretty. We were entirely mobile this day, so I decided to pop over some of the photos onto my phone. From there, I'm easily able to import them into Lightroom and use some of my mobile presets to give the photos a little bit of pop. I definitely had a lot to choose from, but I went with the bright and vibrant so I could really bring out the color of her eyes, especially against the background. With just a few tweaks, I've got fully finished photos. The mobile versions of my presets come with any Lightroom preset purchase. Head to the link below to grab yours. All right, back into the shoot. And stick your chin forward like you're looking down. Gorgeous. I want to get her in the element as well. So by having her lean forward, she's out of focus. We're still focused on the jewelry, but now we have her into it. All right, I'm going to show you one of my favorite setups. What I'm going to have you do, actually, before we even do that, go ahead and just play with your ring. Like pretend like you're putting it on and lower your, yes, lower your hand a little bit. I had her lower it because before she was right in front of some of the detail on her dress and we wanna make sure we show all of that. That looks good. Nice. That's what we're looking at here, just getting her to play with it. All right, now let me show you my favorite shot that highlights all the jewelry. What you're gonna do is just gonna kind of lean on one leg and then put both hands on your natural waist. Yep. Let me tuck that in. Do more of, um, like that, that's perfect. So at first she put her hands more here and again, I'm seeing the palm. So then we flip it this way. Not only does that make her hand look more flattering, but now it highlights the ring right here. So I'm just gonna scooch back a little bit. And it will also highlight her bracelet on this side. So you're just gonna stay just like that. Look all the way that way. And now we have a nice shot with all the little details in there. But again, still showing her. It's just a nice bright spot. There we go, you can see it nicely. And then again, you can kind of zoom into any part that you want. If you want to just highlight the ring here, it's perfectly in focus. If you want to highlight the necklace, it's perfectly in focus, like that. Now I just want to photograph you, if you don't mind, because you look gorgeous. We're going to take three more steps over into the sun. We're like chasing the sun today. <laughs> Let's go into this sun splash. And then, Jess, can I have you hold this? Of course. Yes, oh, that's really pretty right there. So right away, I'm just gonna get an exposure on her face. And I wanna highlight her blue eyes. So I'm actually gonna lower my white balance a little bit lower than I normally would. So let me just get an exposure on her face first. So, so far this looks good but I want to throw more light in her eyes and I completely forgot a reflector today. So we're just going to use the train of her dress. I want to spread it out like right here. That looks really good. Nice. Do me a favor, turn this way. Take a step closer to that, yep. And then roll your shoulder back and then your nose a little bit that way. Beautiful. Bring your nose back a little bit more to me. Nice. And go ahead and play with your necklace. Yeah, nice and look down at your ring. Perfect. Love it. Ah, these are gorgeous. So just fun stuff like that, highlighting the jewelry. And it might seem like a little thing, but here's what happens. When you highlight the jewelry, when you highlight all the little details the day of, these are all decisions that the bride made. And these are all vendors that you could potentially be working with later too. So it's just a great way to make sure that you're getting all those photographs, telling a story, yeah, she is a natural bride, right? <laughs> Telling a story and then doing all those favors, you know, for her, for marketing and everything in between. So cool, that's it. So I didn't end up using, do you have the 85 with you? I do. By chance, I'm gonna switch just to the 85 just so you can see the difference. I know I told you I used the 50, but I, I want you to see what you can do with the 85. That's gonna give you a little bit more compression because this is also a stylistic choice, not necessarily a you have to shoot details with 50. You don't have to. All right. So do the exact same thing with the earring. Yeah. Uh, turn that way, actually. I think that's your better. Yeah. I just like that you see the bracelet, too. That looks great. There. So what's going to happen when you're shooting with the 85 is everything's going to be a little bit more compressed. Using a 50 is just going to give you a little bit more of a comfort level to be able to get more of the pieces in focus, get closer to your subject, uh, and in my opinion, get a better picture when you're working with jewelry. So I'm Vanessa Joy, at Vanessa Joy here on Instagram. This is Adorama, and we're going to go into Photo Plus. I hope to see you guys there.
Thank you, and thank you, Jesse. <laughs>